Ellen Johnson Salif born Ellen Eugenia Johnson 29th October 1938 is a Liberian politician who served as the 24th president of Liberia from 2006 to 2018. Salif was the first elected female head of state in Africa. Salif was born in Monlovia to a Golar father and Klu German mother. She was educated at the College of West Africa. She completed her education in the United States where she studied at Madison Business School, University of Colorado and Harvard University. She returned to Liberia to work in William Tobler's government as Deputy Minister of Finance from 1971 to 1974. Later, she worked again in the West for the World Bank in the Caribbean and Latin America. In 1979, she received a cabinet appointment as Minister of Finance serving to 1980. Salif was born in Monlovia. She attended a college of West Africa, a preparatory school from 1974 to 1955. She married James Salif when she was 17 years old. The couple had four sons together and she was primarily occupied as a homemaker. Early on in their marriage, James worked for the Department of Agriculture and Salif worked as a bookkeeper for an auto repair shop. She traveled with her husband to the United States in 1961, continued her education and earned an associate degree in accounting at Madison Business School in Madison, Wisconsin. When they returned to Liberia, James continued his work in the agriculture department and Salif pursued a career in the treasure department, Ministry of Finance, divorced in 1961 because of James's abuse. Salif returned to college to finish her bachelor's degree. In 1970, she earned a BA in economics from the Economics Institute of the University of Colorado, where she also spent a summer preparing for graduation studies. Salif studied economics and public policy at Harvard Kennedy School from 1969 to 1971, earning a Master of Public Administration. She returned to her native Liberia to work in the administration of William Tobler, where she was appointed as Assistant Minister of Finance. In that position, she attracted attention with a bombshell speech to the Liberian Chamber of Commerce that claimed that the country's corporations were harming the economy by hoarding or sending their profits overseas. Salif served as Assistant Minister from 1972 to 1973 in the Tobler administration. She resigned after disagreement about government spending. Subsequently, she was appointed as Minister of Finance a few years later, serving from 1979 to April 1980. While working at the Citibank, Salif returned to Liberia in 1985 to run for vice president under Jackson Doi on the ticket of the Liberian Action Party in the 1985 elections. However, Salif was placed under house arrest in August 1985 and soon after sentenced to 10 years in prison for sedition as a consequence of a speech in which she returned to the members of Samuel Doi Red Following international calls for her release, Samuel Doi pardoned and released her in September. Due to the government pressure, she was removed from the presidential ticket and instead ran for a Senate seat in Matsimrado County.
In the 1985 elections, Samuel Doi, the National Democratic Party, won a presidency and large majorities in both houses. The elections were widely condemned as neither free nor fair. Salif was declared the winner of the Senate race, but refused to accept the seat in protest of the election fraud. After an attempted coup against the Doi government by Thomas Wonk Park on 12 November 1985, Salif was arrested and imprisoned again on 13th November by Doi's forces. Despite continuing to refuse to accept her seat in the Senate, she was released in July 1986. She secretly fled the country to the United States later that year. Of the first Liberian civil war in 1985, Salif supported Charles Taylor's rebellion against Doi. She helped to raise money for the war and founded the National Patriotic Front of Liberia with Taylor and Tom Woiwu. Because of this, Doi's government recommended that Salif be banned from politics in Liberia for 30 years. But she later opposed Taylor's handling of the war and his treatment of rival opposition leaders such as Jackson Doi, the presence of Economic Community of West African States peacekeepers led the cessation of hostilities. The nation held 1997 general election which Salif returned to Liberia to contest. She ran as the presidential candidate for the Unity Party and placed second in the controversial election getting 25% of the vote to Charles Taylor's 75% after controversy about the results and being accused of treason. Salif left Liberia and went into exile in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. After the end of the Second Liberian Civil War and the establishment of the transitional government, Salif was proposed as a possible candidate for chairman of the government. Ultimately, Jude Bryant, a political neutral, was chosen as chairman, while Salif served as head of the Governance Reform Commission. Salif stood for president as the candidate of the Unity Party in the 2005 general election. She placed second in the first round of voting behind George Weir, a former footballer. In the subsequent run-off election, Salif earned 79.0% of the vote versus 40% of for we. So we are disputed the results. In January 2010, Salif announced that she would run for a second term in office in the 2011 presidential election while speaking to a joint session of the legislature. Position leaders noted that in doing so, she had broken a promise made during her 2005 campaign to only serve one term if elected. Salif crossed party lines to support George Weir in the 2017 presidential campaign. In the late evening, hours of 30th, 13th January 2018, she, along with some officials of the Unity Party were expelled by the National Executive Committee of the party for failing to support the Unity Party presidential candidate and Salifu's Vice President Joseph Boakai. Forbes magazine named Salif as the 51st most powerful woman in the world in 2006. In 2010, Newsweek listed her as one of the 10 best leaders in the world, while Time counted her among the top 10 female leaders. That same year, The Economist called her arguably 
the best president the country has ever had. In 2010, Salif released her first book, The Child Will Be Great, memoir of a remarkable life by Africa's first woman president. In 2018, Jason Salif founded the Ellen Johnson Salif Presidential Center for Women and Development, which aims to be a catalyst for change across Africa by helping unleash its most abundant, untappable power, its women. In 2019, Director General of the World Health Organization Tedros Adhanom pointed Jason Salif as a who goodwill ambassador for the health workforce. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, she stepped down from his post to serve as co-chair alongside Helen Clark of the WHO's independent panel for pandemic preparedness and response. Also in 2020, she was appointed to the Development Advisory Council of the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation. In addition, Jenson Salif holds a number of paid and unpaid positions, including Africa Europe Foundation, member of the high-level group of personalities of Africa Europe Relations, Brent Thirst Foundation, member of the advisory board, Mastercard Foundation, member of the board of directors. In 1956, Ellen Johnson. Johnson married James Sally. They had four sons together before their divorce. She grew up as a Presbyterian but later joined her husband's Methodist faith through her sons. She has 10 grandchildren. While attending college in the United States, Salif became a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority and she is an honorary member of the Lynx Incorporated. She is the aunt to American actress comic later born Mali Salif, best known for her role as Donna Maggie, the NBC comedy Parks and Creation.